This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 23. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. And start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Makar Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, and Baha Shem is in the name. Rakar Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also, <clears throat> Shalom to the 144,000 men as laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that's listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right, you know. Let me actually start up here. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 22 says, As for the mysteries of God, they knew them not, neither hope they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blameless souls. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image <clears throat> of his own eternity. All right, hey, the Lord made the Israelites to be immortal, man. All right, never dying, to never die. All right, to live eternal. All right, let me actually get the word here just for uh, immortal really quick. All right, because that's, that's part of that, uh, the new covenant, all right, <clears throat> which is only given to the nation of Israel. All right. It says, and mortal says deathless. All right. Imperishable. Endless. All right. You know, <clears throat> that's why the Lord said that we are gods, man. All right. But we shall die like men. All right. A God is immortal, man. It can't die. Psalms 82 and verse 6. It says, I have called, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High, all, all, of, all of, of the nation of Israel, all right? This is not for everybody, man, all right? This, this Bible is like a, it's like a personal letter, all right, to a group of people, all right? You know, the nation of Israel, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? You know, but even slimmer down even more, all right? <clears throat> this is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to understand these scriptures. All right. You know, other than that, you know, everybody outside of the elect, you know, the Bible is here to condemn you. All right. You know, for destruction, man. All right. And uh, let me get here. Revelations chapter 20 and verse four. Uh, not four. Three. It's lucky. Twenty-one and three. Twenty-one and four. I started at three. Revelations twenty-one and three. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, "Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and He will dwell with them, and they shall be His people, and God Himself shall be with them, and be their God." You know, showing that the Lord is is dealing with the uh, with the prophets, man. All right, all right. Mainly, the Lord is dealing with the prophets, man. All right, you know. But even 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 with that being said, all right, going back to Joel, all right, you know, women women can have dreams, children can have dreams, all right, and men can have dreams as well, man. All right, <clears throat> you know. But to, but the Lord, the Lord, He's going to put His breath. And to uh, his 144 men to go out here and prophesy this truth. All right. In verse four, this is the point. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death. All right. That's immortal, man. All right. No more death in the kingdom of Israel. All right. And it, all right, yeah, it, is, it is going to be the kingdom of Israel, but in the kingdom of heaven. All right. It says neither sorrow. All right, so no more, uh, 
you know, I was going to say crime, but, uh, you know, even the, uh, the brother was, uh, the brother in our camp, all right, the head brother, Yashai, he was even saying, you know, uh, tears of joy, all right, you know, but sorrow, let me see what it says here for sorrow. Real quick, you know, like depression, you know, mourning, all right? Hey, we're not going to be in that state of mourning anymore, all right? We're going to be, you know, in the spirit of mirth, <laughs> you know? Rightfully so, man, because we, we, we've been mourning here in America for how many years, man? All right, over 500 years of mourning, man. All right, so it's time for these other nations to mourn. All right, but really they're gonna be happy as well. All right, because the scripture says when the righteous are in authority, all right, the the people rejoice, man. All right, so that goes into mourning. Says neither sorrow nor crying. Well, that says crying right there. Let me see what it says exactly for crying. <clears throat> All right, outcry, a clamor, all right, tumult or grief, all right. Now it's gonna be uh, straight tears of joy, man, tears of uh, of happiness. All right. It says neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All right. You know, no more pain, no more back pains, no more knee pains. All right, no more headaches, no more stomach aches. All right, you know, all these diseases, no more cancer. All right, no more uh, uh, breast cancer. You know, any any type of uh, uh, what's that one thing like arthritis in the knees, man? All right, any type of uh, sickness, disease, or any type of pain or soreness, man. All right, that that'll never happen in the kingdom of heaven. All right, why? Because the Lord is going to change these vile bodies, man. All right, let me actually get that here, in Philippians. All right, this is Philippians chapter three. I'll start at verse 17. He says, brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you and now tell you even weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Amashiach, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, hey, our, our conversation, you know, is not is not here, you know, on the things about this earth, you know, the next who's gonna win the next Super Bowl. All right, you know, you you've been checking out these stocks. All right, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with doing that. All right, but that's not. That's not what we get together and, and speak about, man. All right, we get in together speaking about the kingdom of heaven. All right, things to come of the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, you know we're not here dwelling about earthly things, man. All right, you know, you know how we can make this next next big business move. You know how we can, uh, you know, uh, have our own king. <clears throat> Excuse me, have our own kingdom within this kingdom. You know, how we can be, have more black owned businesses. You know, that's earthly things, man. All right. But people may think it's deep and on some type of level. All right. Because you're, you know, showing that you care for the, for the so-called black community. All right. All right. But that's, that's earthly things, man. All right. We're looking, we're, we're looking for America to be destroyed, man. All right, people ain't, ain't ain't getting together talking about, you know, hey, we we can't wait for America to be destroyed. We can't wait for our Lord to come back. All right, you know they 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 focus on earthly things, man. All right, 
things solely on this earth, man. But we, we're looking for things that's outside of this earth, man. All right? Looking for the Lord to destroy this place and uh, and establish the kingdom uh, for the nation of Israel, man. All right? Verse 21 is the point. Uh, Philippians 3, 21, it says, Who shall change our vile body? All right? Let me get this word file here. It says low, low estate, spiritual abasement, leading one to perceive and lament his moral littleness and guilt. All right. We are we are at a low estate in these bodies, man. All right. We're at a very low estate, man. All right. We're mortal. All right. You know, we can uh, we can die. We can contract sicknesses. All right. You know, these are vile bodies, man. All right, and not to, nothing to be pick, nothing to be compared to the bodies that our Lord is going to give us, man. All right, Scripture says we shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Okay, as we're being beamed up, Lord willing. It says who shall change our vile bodies? These these low low estate. All right, these are these are like uh. These are like um what's it called? Like uh these are like hoopties, man. Alright, these bodies are like hoopties. Alright, and we we waiting to get we waiting to get that new Ferrari, man. Alright, so to speak. Alright, on a on, on a worldly on a on a worldly level there. Alright, it says who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Alright? You know, a body able to fly, all right. A body able, you know, to have sp a body that's that has spiritual powers, all right, and so much more, all right. A, a body, more importantly, all right, that, that 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 will not transgress the law, statutes, and commandments, all right. How about that, man? All right. Well, that's what kind of body we looking for, man. All right. The, a body that's going to be following after. The law, statutes, and commandments, as 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 if we're breathing, man. Okay, it says, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. All right, the Lord gave Yahweh Shai, you know, all the ability to control everything, man. Okay, you know, so we're seeking, we're seeking immortality, you know, preaching this truth. All right, we're bringing out the vibrations. Of immortality. Alright? Because the wages of sin is death, man. Alright? You know? So we're trying to we're looking to be Im immortal. Alright? Only only reason why the Lord put, you know, death uh, upon the nation of Israel. Why? Alright, because because we transgressed the laws, man. You know? It's really that simple, man. All right. And uh, I wanted to get one more here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, this is Sirach chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality, man. All right, and that's what we're seeking, man. All right, we're seeking immortality. All right. You know, let me start at uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 19. Let me start at verse 18. It says, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaineth his love. All right. That fear, you know, uh, uh, the fear in the Lord is so important, man. All right. That's is he. It says that's the first step to be accepted of him, man. You have to fear the Lord, man. You have to respect the Lord, all right, you know, and it says the commandment, it's Salakia, verse 19, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, 
All right, this is true life, man. And they that do, and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. All right, it says the fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. All right, you know, the Lord is everywhere, man, at all times, man. All right, let me get this here. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15, verse 3. I start at 1. It says, But thou, O God, art gracious and true, long suffering and in mercy, ordering all things. For if we sin, we are thine, knowing thy power. But we will not sin, knowing that we are counted thine. For to know thee is perfect righteousness. Yea, to know thy power is the root of of immortality all right to know the power of your how about shimao shah that's the root to immortality man all right all right you know but a lot of these people they're not they err they err you know not knowing the scriptures man and not knowing the power of the lord all right and by that by default, they're, they're seeking, you know, death, man. All right? People love to be mortal, man. All right? You know, people boast. People are proud and boast, you know, say all types of stuff about the Lord, you know, which is immortal. All right? That's how you know the Lord is, is very long-suffering, man. It says that right here in the top verse. All right? It says, but thou, O God, art gracious, are gracious, and true long suffering and in mercy order in all things the lord is long suffering man all right you know how many people you know but the lord does it all in due time all right because a lot of these people they get their judgment all right you know but you know how people have said you know f the most high you know the most high ain't real all right the lord is just looking down on them all right and he's immortal man you know, and these people are, are are mortal and they and they so proud, man. You know? That's kind of bugged that's bugged out once you think about it, man. These people are, are proud mortals, man. Alright, and the Lord is immortal, man. You know? Let's say a uh, proud look. All right, this it says <clears throat> this is I'm gonna close with this would be the Lord's will. This is Proverbs chapter six, verse sixteen. These six things do of Yahweh Bashmi Shai hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, says a heart that devises uh, wicked imagination, feet that be swift and run into mischief, says a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. All right, but a proud look, man. <clears throat> this is something that the Lord hates, man. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, you know, and, and yes, the Lord does hate, man. All right, He hates somebody that's proud, man. All right, so for you to be mortal, <coughs> for you can, for you to be able to die any second, man. All right, and you being uh, proud, <coughs> you know, the Lord, uh, the Lord hates you, and that's for a good reason, man. All right, the Lord does so much things. For people man for the just and the unjust man all right waking you up in the morning all right you know allowing you to breathe okay the simple things in life you know that people take for granted all right but these people think that the lord is not real man all right but he's going to show in his due time all right because the lord is not on your time man you don't have to prove you 
when, when you need to be proven. All right, he's gonna prove it according to prophecy, man. All right. So with that, you know, I'm gonna say shalom. I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. All right, to the next lesson, I say shalom and a baba ball. Shalom.